I am teaching my core hour today. If you are new to the class, hello. If you're not new to the class, hello. Happy 2021. Um, this is a quick breakdown of what happens in the class. It is one hour. We always start off with some cardio and then we'll do some stretching to warm up our bodies. I have a plank hold at, for three minutes at the beginning and then we warm up with some core workouts. Then we move into our strength build. That's 10 minutes building up our wonderful core muscles. We'll do some planks in the middle um, and then we'll have our burn down and end class with three minutes in a plank. Um, hope you're ready. This is my first time doing it on YouTube, so everyone go ahead, stand up. You don't need any equipment. You just need a mat, your body, any sort of alternative moves that you need to do in order to get yourself situated, please do them. I will do my best to tell you what you need to do in order to um, have an alternative, but otherwise, we're going to get started. So I'm gonna have my timer. And if you're ready, we are gonna stand up, get ready, and we're gonna begin with some jumping jacks. All right, so for our cardio, if you see me looking, I am no profesh, so any pointers here, but I am gonna start off with cardio. We are gonna get our heart rate up, we're gonna get our bodies warm, um, and we're gonna start off with some jumping jacks. I want you to make sure that the crown of your head, the nape of your neck, your lower ribs, your belly button, your sternum to your pubic bone are one nice long line. Shoulders are dropped away from the ears. Send that belly breath to that belly. And we are gonna be here for another 10 seconds. After this, we're gonna get into some high knees, static and standing in place in three, two, and one, nice job, high knees. So high knees, we are driving that knee all the way to our chest. Your hips are right underneath your shoulders. You're getting those arms nice and high and driving those elbows all the way to your torso side. Now, some things to be mindful of. I want you to make sure that the inner soles of your feet are firmly planted on the ground. This is not a moment to be opening up your ribs or anything. We keep those lower ribs nice and woven together, those hips nice and squared. That knee comes right to the torso and we try not to move around our hips. And in three, two, and one, we're doing side knees. Okay, here we are. Side knees. So with side knees, we are going to bring those knees to the outside, side knees. Um, the elbows now come out to the open. And imagine driving your shoulder blades nice and behind you, and you still got that solid midline from the crown of your head to the nape of your neck, those lower ribs, that belly button really cinched together. After this, we're gonna do reverse lunges, alternating sides in three, two, and one. Nice job, alternating reverse lunges. I should have put my timer in front of me, but that's okay. Here we go. So that foot comes right behind you. I still got a nice, solid shoulders over hips. I have that nice exhale and that breath guiding me. After this, we got 20 more seconds here before we do a sumo squat to a cross crunch. Now, whoo, this is my first time. Um, you are gonna make sure that foot goes right behind you, in line with your knees, in line with your hips. Three, two, and one, nice job. Sumo squat crunch. Open up those feet nice and wide. Knees and toes in the same direction. And elbows, knees, toes, elbows. That's like a song, right? Maybe? No, that's head, and toes. Head, nose, toes. <laughs> I don't know. I should stop talking. <laughs> All right, the point is you are cross crunching. Your elbows are getting activated, <laughs> core is getting activated, elbows are crossing. <sighs> we are making sure we're tucking in that tailbone, building up a heat. <sighs> And in three, two, and one, come back into that sumo squat. Hands to the sternum.
sternum. We're gonna go up and down. In these last 15 seconds, we are building up our heat. We are not twerking. And we are getting those hands down to the center. Ping up that cardio in three, two, and one. Nice job, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Time for a stretch. Hands to the hips, jump a little wider than hips width. And we do hip circles. All right, so we're circling our hips nice and around. Imagining from the shoulders to the hips, our torso is nice and connected. Let's switch it around. Gently place those hands to your hips, shoulders away from your ears, elbows are nice and wide. This is my dancer stretch, so all my dancers out there, you know what's up. Shoulder circles for five, four, three. Use your stretch to really deepen that breath. One nice job, reverse for five, four, three, two, and one head circle, three. So again, you're using this to slow down your breath. Find where you're holding some tension and let that go. Really drive away all of that tension where your shoulders want to creep up or your jaw wants to clench. Switch sides, three. Keep drawing those circles away from your shoulders away from your ears. Make sure you're not opening up that belly button or sticking out that booty of yours. Nice job, come back up to center. Arms come out to a T, we're still having our feet a little wider than hips width, and we go side to side. Now, everything from the hips below, nice, solid, and square. Everything above the hips is what's warming up and moving. We're stretching out our obliques and our sides. Bring your right arm over to your left, and we stretch. So, shoulders, hips nice and squared. I feel that top right arm stretch, bottom left arm stretch. Nothing is opening or crowding over. I'm gonna pulse for five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come to your side. Nice job. My top right arm, back left arm, shoulders and hips nice and squared. Belly button to the spine. I should have a full head long back. I should not be arching my back, but I cannot see. Hopefully that's true. Nice inhale in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna engage my lower abs, bring my torso all the way over my feet or my legs, shoulders away from your ears, hands on opposite side of that ankle, release the tension in your neck, bend that back knee, come on up, bend it again, flexing that front leg, come on up, walk your hands through to center, grab those hands behind that lower back, and drop those wrists over that shoulder, shake that head, no, yes, maybe. Nice job, let go of those hands, slight bend knees, roll up one vertebra at a time, and we're up, all over again, side two, side to side. Again, shoulders and hips in the same plane, left hand goes over to our right, and we stretch. Make sure those shoulders and hips are nice and squared, and we pulse for five, four, three, two, and one nice job, back to the center, come on up, square out those shoulders and hips, top left arm, bottom right arm, flat long back, belly button to the spine, nice inhale in, and as you exhale, engage that lower belly to bring your torso as close as it can to that leg till you can't anymore, and we drop those hands on opposite sides of that ankle, bend that back knee, come up, bend it again, flexing that front leg, come on up, Walk your hands through to center. Nice job. Walk those hands right outside that right ankle, still facing those hips squared. Nice inhale in. And as you exhale, deepen that stretch. Don't hold that tension in your neck like I am right now. Walk those hands through to center, other side. Nice inhale in. And as you exhale, deepen that stretch. Come back through to center. Go ahead, swivel your feet one foot, swivel apart so you can find yourself in a nice sumo squat. Tuck in that tailbone. We are not twerking here. When you are ready, your hands go to your knees. And I want you to drop in that right shoulder and twist from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. And with that exhale, deep in that stretch. Come back on up, drop in that right shoulder. And exhale, deep in that stretch. One more time right. One more time left. One more time back to center, we come up. Hands go to center, swivel them together. Grab for opposite elbows, give yourself a nice little hug, dangle here. Slank, bend the knees up one vertebra at a time. And we're up, good job, all right. So we did our cardio, we did our stretching. I promise you, core hour always comes with a three minute plank hold. And we're gonna start with our plank hold. Um, my handy timer 
is with my phone, so don't mind me, and I have low-key music playing. I hope you have good music on your side of things, or maybe not. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready with a plank. This is gonna be three minutes. We're gonna build ourselves up. I am talking a lot, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Before we begin, I want you to make sure index finger and thumb make a nice L. That L goes right into the mat. Slight bend in the elbows so that they're facing forward. I want you to make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Belly button is going right to the spine so we're not in a little twerk position here. You kind of engage that core because this is core class. Balls of your feet to the mat. Don't lock those knees and we're gonna begin. So you ready? I've been talking enough in three, two, one. Let's go plank. All right, first up in this three minute clock is already started. We're rotating around those wrists one way. Let's rotate them the other way. After this, we're gonna do some nice shoulder taps for good 30 seconds. So come back to center, make sure you feel solid. Shoulder taps. So we're alternating the hand that is tapping the shoulder, shoulder tapping. It is what it is. All right, so we're here. I want you to make sure your belly button is really engaged, pressing all the way to your spine. You're filling that space between the shoulder blades, making sure you're not sinking on in. Three, two, and one. Next up is a leg lift. So we're breaking apart our around the world by first doing shoulder taps, and now we're doing leg lifts. So as we lift these legs, shoulders and hips, Still nice and squared. And in a couple seconds, we're gonna go into commandos. Two and one, commandos. Drop the elbows, come back up to the hands. Drop to the elbows, come back to the hands. Nice job. Just 10 more seconds here. We're gonna find ourselves in an elbow plank. Five, two, and one. Come back to this elbow plank, shoulders over elbows, hip dips. So keep that gaze nice and neutral so that your neck isn't bent or flapping in one particular way or another. I keep engaging with my exhale during the hard part of the move. Filling that space between my shoulder blades from the tip of my fingers all the way to the base of my elbows. I am pressing that forearm into the mat. After this, we're gonna move on to a forehead dip and a chin dip. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna go all the way up to the forehead. Come back through to center. Drop down to get our chin to the mat. Back up and down. Up and down. Nice job. Right here, 10 more seconds. And we're gonna commando ourselves back up and almost wrap up this salad. Three minute plank, three, two, and one. Neutralize that spine, come back up, let's go. We got it, commandos, come on. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold that plank for five, four, three, Two and one, nice job. Three minute plank, come into that downward dog, shake that head no. Yes, maybe pedal those feet and walk those feet toward your hands. If accessible to you, a nice restorative pose side. Those palms of your hands underneath those footbeds. Press toes into wrists. Ooh, get that nice stretch. We let go, we shake it down. We come on up. And our shoulders, traps, core should be nice and warm and we get our booty to the mat. Woo! All right, here we go. Nice and sweaty. Hello, YouTube. It's nice to join you today. We are going to get our floor on the mat. We are doing warm up. It is going to last about 10 minutes. We start with our ankles, knees, hips nice and squared. Our sit bones are right on the mat. We're not arching our spine. Lower ribs nice and woven together. Nice flat. Long back. And we bring our hands out to the center. Shoulders away from your ears. And I want you to fall on back. What we're gonna practice here is a core drop. You're gonna fall the way, all the way to where you feel like you're about to lift off and I want you to hold it. You're gonna hold for a nice five, four, three, 
two, and one. Nice job. You come up, you sink it in. One more time, shoulders away from your ears, and you fall on back. So the goal here is to, with every exhale, press belly button to the spine, feel that tremble, and stay out of your hip flexors. Come on up. One more time, we bring those heels as close as we can to our booty, still firmly in our sit bones, and we fall on back. Hold for five, ooh, four, don't let those shoulders creep up. Two, and one, don't get up. We bring those legs up, we bring our hands right under shoulders, shoulders away from the ears, a little bit back up to our sit bones, and we come back in for a nice crunchy frog. For 10, nine, use that exhale to get those knees to your chest. Four more, three, two, and one, nice job, side to side. Imagine those knees crunching on up to your opposite shoulders. With that exhale, you get those heels to that booty. And we're gonna be here. Let's do three more, can we? Three, two, stay out of those hip flexors. Come on, you can do it last. One, don't drop, stay up, 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 up. Sink in those hip flexors. Hands go behind the nape of your neck. Seated, bike, crunch. After this, we got side leg lifts while seated, just to give our obliques a little love. And then we can carry on to the floor. But let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come up, nice inhale in. And as you exhale, fold over. We get up, we go right to our right side. We stay on that right booty, right side, right booty. We're not sinking in, staying propped up, staying on that right booty. Try to get as best you can, shoulders and hips nice and squared. We're not doing any of this. Full forearm into the mat, three, two, one, let's go. We lift up those feet. And we give them a nice little tap. Oh, what's up? I am hot. There are heaters on, because it is cold in Oakland today. And there are also lights that are probably showing off all of my beauty vlogger secrets. Um, but this is not the time. Hi, Facebook. Hi, Touchstone. Missed you. Here we are. Let's see if we can do it from core classes in Great Western all the way to Facebook and now on YouTube. Here we go. Three. Two, and one, nice job. We're gonna do our other side. I'm gonna do a switcheroo. Again, stay out of that shoulder, hips, shoulders stacked. Three, two, and one, let's go. All right, with every exhale, you get that nice leg lift. We stay out of that shoulder. We get our hands to try and touch those ankles. We use a nice exhale to do a nice leg lift. If you need to, it can just be a bent knee. But we're here for a nice 10 more seconds. Stay out of those hips. Use that nice breath to guide you. Three, two, two, and one. Nice job. Come back to your booty. We're gonna do earthquake. You have a nice long extended leg, shoulders away from your ears. Let's do that core drop in action. I want you to find yourself falling back as far as you can go without engaging those hips. Nice flat long back. When you're ready, I want you to lift up that right hand and we hold for five, four, three. Feel that tremble, two, and one. Switch sides for five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands for 10. Hey, eight, seven, come on. Send that belly button to the spine. Make sure you are not engaging those hips. That's not the time, it's your core. Last one, come on out. And we slide on down. Yes, hug those knees into that chest. Rock side to side, place them nice and in line from the feet, knees to hips, nice and squared. That small part of your back squash to the mat. We're gonna start off with a thigh slide. Hands to the base of those thighs, shoulders away from your ears, engage that lower belly. If you put your hand at your belly button, it should be nice and contracted as you press it to this mat, and we slide on up. So I want you to use your breath as a nice exhale to guide you up and down that thigh slide. Your shoulder, 
and your arms aren't doing any work here. Your neck is nice and neutral facing the top of that ceiling. And the harder you press your hands into that thigh, the more challenging this move is. This is getting your upper core, your central core. We've got it, three, two, and one. I want you to hold it, hold it here. Reach for the tops of those knees. Shoulders away from your ears, pulse. Three, two, one. Don't drop, knees come up. Press knees to hands, hands to knees. Shoulders away from your ears, knees right over hips. We have got this static. Move for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, lift up those feet. Nice job, your hands in a diamond underneath the small of your back, and we are going to reverse crunch. Sorry, this is me looking at my timer. All right, get those low abs nice and in action. Give your upper core a little bit of a break. You press those hands into the mat, elbows into the mat, shoulders away from your ears. Try to pierce those toes all the way to the ceiling. Give a nice little pause at the top. All right, for three, two, and one. Nice job, keep them up in center. When you're ready, if you can, hands go behind the nape of your neck. We lift them up and we do single leg drops. So, your hands, and sorry, your head and your eyeballs to the ceiling, nice and neutral spine. We are only having an angle in our head because we are reaching those shoulders off the mat for that extra upper core. If you do not want that, you are perfectly capable and fine of just doing this with your full length of your back to the mat. But we're gonna be here for another three, two, and one. Nice job, double leg drops, here we go. Just for another 10 seconds. Y'all ready? It's about to be a low ab burn. Here we go, three, two, and one. From this low ab, we tuck in, we low boat. We tuck in, we low boat. We are gonna wrap this up with a nice low ab burn. Come on out to your low ab. I got my hands in a diamonds underneath the small of my back and I'm criss crossing five, four, three, two, one. I'm fluttering for five, four, three. Press that low back into the mat. Last one and hold, hold it. Come on y'all for five, four. Press that small of the back into the mat. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Hug it in. Drop those legs, two knees to the right, look to the left. Actually, I dropped them to the left and I'm looking to the right. But I don't know what you see, so maybe it is your left and my right. Drop those knees to the right, look to the left. Use that exhale to deepen that stretch. Come back up, grab just behind the low backs of those knees. We're up, nice inhale in. Exhale, you fold forward. Hands to the right. And with that exhale, deepen that stretch to the left. And with that exhale, deepen that stretch, we come up. We give ourselves a little head tilt. We give ourselves a little dance. Sweet. So we did, I'm gonna grab my water. We did our cardio, stretching, warm up. We are just coming through with this class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One day, I will be a YouTube profesh, but until that day is here, I am a YouTube amateur profesh in the making. All right, friends, so hopefully you grab a drink of water. We are barely, not even, but almost halfway through class. Next up is going to be our strength build. Now as I'm talking, I hope you're getting yourself some water, preparing yourself, getting a nice playlist out here in the mix. I wish I could share you mine because it's dope, but you know, copyright, so here we are. So what's gonna happen in this next section is we are going to do eight moves, a minute 10 each. It is going to last just over 10 minutes. Um, and we're gonna do four moves, basically, that touch all parts of our core. And then the second round is like the elevated version to that. So for example, in the first four, it's gonna be mountain climbers in plank. Then we're gonna go to the bat mat with some basic crunches in 90 degree straight leg. We do bicycle crunch to work out our transverse abdominals and obliques. 
And then we're going to do single, single, double sit-up crunches to get our upper core and our lower core. The second round of that is going to be the same stuff, but just elevated. So I will walk us through all of them. What I do want you to know, it is a minute 10 each. I am using a wonderful app to help keep my timing going. Um, there are no breaks, just transitions. We have about 10 seconds between each move. So again, the first one is going to start off with a mountain climber. Once I start the clock, it is going to start. So like I said, shoulders over wrists, belly button to the spine, no twerking, that's for later. Um, off this app and uh, have fun. You ready? Usually I talk through these. I don't know if I want to do that on YouTube, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to get myself situated. You get yourself situated in three, two, remember it's mountain climbers last one. We come up. Let's go. Mountain climbers. So we have a minute 10 here. You have several options of how you want to do this. Now, I'm gonna walk us, talk us through those options. But first, make sure elbows are nice and slightly bent, facing forward. My shoulders are over my wrists. I'm filling that space between my shoulder blades. I'm getting that knee to drive right into my chest. Slight pause as it meets all the way to my chest, making sure I'm not dipping in my low back, that I am keeping a nice midline together. I'm weaving together my low ribs. I'm getting that belly button to the spine. If you want to elevate it, you're more than welcome to hop and jump and speed up those mountain climbers. If you don't want to do otherwise, you can also go ahead and do these in a tabletop. Now, it is a minute 10. We take it nice, slow, and easy. We're gonna do this again in the second round. But we got five seconds here. And last one, nice job. Find yourself onto the backs of those mats. The next is gonna be 90 degree to straight leg crunches. Hands behind the nape of my neck. I go one, two, three, straight legs, three, two, one. Bent knees, three, two, one. Straight legs, you get the drill. We are basically alternating between a bent knee and a straight leg crunch. This is really going to tackle that upper ab of ours. I want you to make sure that you're giving a slight pause at the top of every crunch, especially the last of those threes. Those elbows are nice and wide. We are aiming to get those shoulders off the mat and your neck is nice and neutral. Don't use it to lift yourself up. Remember, imagine yourself peeling at the shoulders, getting those off the mat. You're sending that low back all the way to the mat so that it's not curving, not even when you're in resting pose, okay? It naturally has a curve. You wanna constantly engage that core to make sure you're getting the full benefits of this workout. Nice job. Next up is bicycle crunch again. Small of your back to the mat. This should be self-explanatory. Our hands go behind the nape of our neck. In three, two, and one, we do our bike crunch. Now, whereas with our 90 degree, I wanted to keep my knees and my heels right above my hips. With this, I want you to hug that knee as close as you can into the chest, just like it's the lying down version of our mountain climbers. Now with bicycles, this is such a classic move where everyone's like, I got this stuff, don't need you to explain it. Now, listen, those elbows are nice and wide, and what you're doing is you're trying to get both of those shoulders, not just the opposite shoulder, both shoulders off the mat. And imagine yourself crunching toward the opposite edge of that mat. Do not neglect those leg placements. Those knees and legs should be in direct alignment with your hips. You're still releasing any tension in your neck. Nothing should be and step right there. We're just crossing side to side. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Last section is going to be a single leg to single leg to a double leg. It tackles our upper core and our lower core. You can always bend those knees if you want. So 
I'm gonna start today with just bending at the top of that double leg. Now, if this is inaccessible to you at this moment, it is absolutely okay if what you're doing is a bent knee version. That's what this looks like. Bent knee, bent knee, and then a simple crunch. But if you're up for it or just try it out, just try it out even once. Single leg, single leg. Ugh, double leg. See, I still can work on straining out my two legs. I'm staying out of my hip flexors. My small of my back, always, even in neutral, is to the mat. Shoulders are away from my ears. My gaze is following with a nice neutral neck. That exhale to guide you with every hard part of the move. Three, two, perfect last one. Nice job. Like I said, we go on to the next one. It is gonna be mountain climber pikes. It's gonna look like this. Mountain climber, pike at the top, down. Mountain climber, pike at the top, down. That's it. That's the move. That's the tweet. What is it? Is that, is that what millennials say? I'm a millennial. Is that what Gen Zennials say? So, this is a mountain climb with a pike. I want you to give yourself a nice extra exhale as you lift up that hip. This is no moment to get rid of the rest of your um, form. I have a nice pike at my hips. Depending on the quality of this camera, you can see me trembling. If not, I am telling you now, I am trembling. This extra pike is really great for your lower abs. Of course, we are also building up our traps. Right here, those supporting muscles by our shoulders. And we are done, minute 10. Done. Next up, we remembered it's a 90 degree to straight leg, but this time we are pulsing. We're doing it for fives. So we start here. We go five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up for five, four, three, two, one. That's it. I'm not gonna count us through the whole thing. Basically, generally, five seconds each of pulse counting, alternating from a bent knee to a straight leg. I love these bent knee straight leg combos because it keeps your leg activated. It gives you an extra body cue to remember to send that belly to the mat in case you forgot. You want to get those shoulders off the mat and you're really pulsing. You got a little arm workout right here. I'm giving all of it to you, right here. Core class with stuff, core hour, it's comprehensive core. Use that breath to guide you with every exhale, just deepen. Try to go a lot deeper with that belly button to the spine. Bend, and up, and we're down. Ooh, give our arms a break. Okay, the next one, right here is going to be a jackknife reach. So, with that, we are reaching. So, the predecessor to this was our bicycle crunch. Now, we're doing a jackknife twist. That looks like having, ooh, my mic, having, sorry if that sounded weird, having um, my straight leg instead of a bent knee. That means reaching this time. It's giving me a little bit more of a deeper body incentive and cue to get both those shoulders off the mat. I still have that nice wide elbow for the elbow that's not doing the reaching. I wanna keep it wide, shoulders nice and open, neck nice and neutral. If the extended straight leg is too much of a body pull for you, then go back to your bent bicycles. It's all good, y'all. 
we are building up the strength of our core and our body, trembling, but doing it together. Nice job, back to center. So instead of doing the next one on our backs, we're gonna do sit-ups seated. They are gonna look like this. We are gonna go out and in, and then we're gonna go one side and the other side. Back to center, in, out, switch sides. One side and the other side, center. I didn't think that through all the way. That's a little awkward. I think I have to crunch in and then go side to side. Whew. Okay, the whole point is without compromising, oh my God, I'm tired, without compromising our form here, we are going crunchy frogs in, out, side to side. Now, if you can see, the bottoms. This one is a hard one to have at the end of your strength build. So if you're struggling, it's fine. Just look at me struggling out here on YouTube. If you see the bottom of my feet dirty, you can thank um, Great Western for that. Okay, we did it. We did our strength build. You did 10 plus minutes. Ooh, I have to stretch out my hips. Oh. You did 10 minutes of our strength builds. Congratulations to you. That last one was a little bit of a struggle, even on my end, if you did not see. But we're doing it here together. Go ahead, grab a drink of water. We are definitely more than halfway through class now. So, planks is up next. We did a lot of central planks, so today's plank break is going to look like a series of side planks. I'm super into it. We're gonna start off with side plank. It's gonna be a hip, dip, and a crunch. We're gonna do one side each, and then we're gonna do some great oblique workouts before we come back to normal plank, to squat, to squat hold. After our eight-ish minutes of planks, we are going to do our burn down. That's my favorite time of class where we burn it down, just settle back into the mats, and then we end class with a three-minute plank hold and a quick stretch. I think that's the end of my talking for today um, between every class. So get ready. We're gonna get started with a side plank. Actually, I, I lied. I have to talk you through the side plank. I'm doing some extra talking today just because uh, we are doing this on YouTube. So if you've never been to my class um, before, hello YouTube, and if you've been to my class before, then um, here's a nice refresher. So side planks. We are gonna start off with side planks. We're gonna do one minute each. I like to always do the little trick to keep my body aligned, especially if I have no mirror next to me, where I put my hands in a nice genie pose. Yes, genie pose, here we go. All right, shoulders are over my uh, elbows in genie pose. From genie pose, I have my feet fall nice and directly behind my hips and in line. Shoulders, um, space between your shoulder blades is nice and filled. Everything is stacked. Now I fall into one side, so that gets me into my side plank. I'm not sinking into my side shoulder. I'm lifted on up. My hips stacked, my shoulders stacked, and if I did my nice genie pose move correctly, then shoulders, hips, ankles nice and squared. From here, we're gonna do a hip dip to a crunch. If you cannot do the full side plank, it's fine, I got you. Bend that knee, hip dip, crunch. Okay, we ready? We're ready. Let's go, Steph. And core people. I don't know why I'm doing it all over again. Three, two, and one. Let's go. All right. Hip dips. Up. Crunch. Sometimes I'm very certain that I am talking to talk myself through the class and not because I really have anything to say. <sighs> so, I hope you're blasting some good music <sighs> instead of hearing my ramblings. <sighs> I'll try to give you the countdown to when we've got three seconds left. 
get out of that shoulder. Eight seconds. Come on, y'all, you got this. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Whew. You ready? Let's switch sides. I'm not gonna give you my back side, so I'm gonna switch around. I gotta move my timer. Get onto that side plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, hips dipped, hips stacked, shoulders stacked, ankles stacked. That nice exhale as you twist. Imagine yourself like wringing a towel through your midline, but instead of a towel, it's your whole torso and body. With these hip dips, you're not sinking into your shoulders. You're keeping that full forearm pressed into that mat, and you're just dipping at the hip. How's your 2021 going? Or like, are you watching this in the future? I guess that's what happens when it lives on YouTube. How's 2030 looking? Good? We got three and two and one. Nice job. Okay, friends. We're gonna give our shoulders a little break here. And we're gonna have a little segment while we're on our knees. If you have knee problems, go ahead, double up that mat, have it under your knee. Otherwise, single mat, no mat, whatever you need. Before we begin, I need you to make sure we're on one knee, I'm on my left. I extend my other foot. My shoulders and hips are nice and in the same line. Knee right underneath my hip, and my ankle is in line with my knee, right? Symmetry. All right, our hands go out to the side, and basically what we're gonna do is a candlestick dipper. You could either do it in a nice airplane, or you could have it with your hands up like Charlie's Angels, and we dip to the side. I want you to exhale as you fold over, you're folding to the opposite side. Your extended leg is a nice counterweight. Um, that's all I have to say. You ready? So we're gonna do it, choose your adventure, and then I'll talk you through the rest of it in three, two, and one, let's go. Sick, all right. So we're here for like a minute-ish. We're gonna do it on one side. I really want us to have a nice burn on one side of our obliques. We're even gonna get into that side booty. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. I can't wait so much that I'm right here doing it. So the key for all of this is you're still finding that length in your back. You're not opening up those ribs. What we like to do when we get tired is we're gonna start opening it up here. Weave it together, weaving from the low ribs to that belly button all the way to that pubic bone. Find that nice long root all the way to the crown of your head. That's what we're doing. We are finding alignment. Only I can talk you through it, but only you can listen to your own body and find that awareness for yourself. Five more seconds here, and then we are going to hold. Three, two, and one. Nice job, come up. Go ahead, find a gentle place to hold for a nice 10 seconds. We are gonna hold it in three different parts. Keep that length. Three, two, one, a little deeper. 10 seconds, you are going to see me tremble. You're gonna feel that tremble. Your arms are gonna get tired maybe. You're gonna sink into that hips. Another last 10 seconds, but I want you to hold it. Maintain the integrity of your move and the body, the body, the move, and your body. Three, two, one, nice job. Tee out those elbows. Gently place that hand down, and we are going to lift up our legs. This is gonna be a nice side booty workout as well as a solid whew, oblique workout. But we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Don't worry, we're not done. You get back onto that elbow. You find yourself in a side plank. Remember, bend that bottom knee if you want, and we're gonna hold it here. 
I'm gonna hold my arm up. It's too tired. We're gonna hold it here for a nice five, four, three, two, one. Last up, 10 crunches. Nine, eight, let's go. Seven, six, exhale on the crunch. Four, three, two, and one. And we're done with that side. And we come to a plank, and then we get into a downward dog. And then we come on up, and then we come back down. Ta da! That was ad hoc. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, what am I doing? Charlie's Angels. So whatever you did to one side, we're doing to the other. To the same to the other. So if you had a T on one side, try to equal it out with a T on this side. If you did Charlie's Angels on one side, try to even it out with Charlie's Angels on this side. I like to make sure that I'm doing the same moves on each side because I think that it's more helpful to even out my body. Now that's assuming that I don't have any like major, major um, body injuries that I need to be mindful of and that there might be adjustments anyway because they're long term. You do you. The whole thing about these recorded videos is that you're there and I'm here to just try to guide you through what makes sense, but you have to do the work of showing up and listening to your body's needs. Three, two, and one. Nice job, we come up. We're gonna do our hold, so find that spot and hold for 10. You breathe through this. We get through this together. Three, two, one, one more. Sorry, one more after this. Breathe, make sure you're not collapsing in that hip. Three, two, one, one more. Breathe. Tremble, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we fall, sorry, I'm grabbing this. We fall to the side, we hold, and when we're ready, we lift up, and we get into that side booty. Nice exhale right here. You feel that tremble in that side booty, but I still got my shoulders stacked, my hips stacked, and my ankles in alignment. I am not locking my elbow, my shoulders away from my ears. I'm sweaty. Maybe you are too. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come on to that side plank. From here, let's go, right here. And we hold, five, four, three, two, one, 10 crunches, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. From here, come on to your plank. Hold it in that plank. From here, I want you to step, step, squat, down, hop out. Step, step, squat, come up, and down. Now maybe make it a squat plank. Hop up and down. Now, we're just gonna be doing this for the last 30 seconds just to get our glutes here. Come back into nice solid plank. Quick little booty cardio pusher before we burn down for the rest of class. Now you have more than enough agency to do a step, step to a squat. Or you can plank squat, but we got three, two, and one, and we're done with our plank moves. Hi, welcome to core class with Steph, where I get awkward and do dance moves in between classes. How's my hair? 
Good? Great. Congrats. We've made it. We have got our strength build up next. And then we have our three minute plank. And then we are done. Well, we're going to stretch. But then we're done. I have been talking a lot. I'm sorry, I'm really thirsty. Okay, cool. Last up is our strength build. We do five moves. We do them for 40 seconds each. We do them for two rounds. That's it, that's simple. It is going to be fabulous. I cannot wait. Um, and we're going to try and touch every single thing that we have been doing. Cool. This is going to go a little over an hour, but hopefully it's all worth it for y'all. So we're going to start off with an eagle crunch, so like eagle pose in yoga, but crunch. And then we're going to do a ballet crunch one side, ballet crunch other side, oblique crunch, oblique crunch. Five moves, 40 seconds each, two times. Remember which crossover you did for round one, because we're going to do the opposite on round two. We can do it. Promise yourself you won't throw up. Promise yourself you're going to listen to your body. Play some nice bangers for me. Play some nice bangers for you. All right, eight minutes. Cross those knees, cross those elbows. Three, two, and one. Let's go. I have a nice exhale as I get my elbows to meet my knees. The small of my back is pressed into the mat. I'm trying to get my shoulders off the mat. Maybe I have a slight lift in the booty. That's going to help make this much more of a low ab workout. Otherwise, maintain that integrity. Slow it down. And we are done with side one. Next is ballet crunch. We bend one side, straighten that other side. We basically crunch on in, like so. So ballet crunch, op option number one, what makes it ballet? I don't know, I like to think of this as a passe. It is like a broken down bicycle. I point my toe, I lift up that shoulder, those shoulders off my mat, and I crunch. Now, we can elevate this by straightening that leg. We have been doing a lot of this version, some version of this same workout, core workout throughout today. And my goal is tomorrow you will feel this in your lovely obliques and that central core. Nice job, we switch sides. So we straighten out that leg, straighten out those arms, and basically what it's gonna look like, it's gonna bend, or you could straighten that leg. Choose your option, but we go right here. So, like I said, I try to keep it symmetrical. So earlier I did both a bent knee and a straightened knee. So I'm gonna try, and now, straighten that knee. It's not very precise today. The other option, if you want to level it up, I will show you later, but some of you might know you can level it up by lifting that bottom foot so that it's not planted on the mat anymore. Your choice. We got four seconds left. Two and one. Nice job. Next up, side crunch. You could do bent knee, you could do straightened legs, you could do one leg, one knee. I don't care. But we do a double side from the floor to the top. Double leg lift. Now, if a double straight leg is not for you, what you can do is a double knee. If that's not for you at this point anymore, straight leg. Not you still, straight knee. That's it. That's the move. Exhale at the lift. Test yourself. Burn it down. Nice job. Other side. It's like having a nap between every move. Let's go. 
I don't know if my mic is able to pick up what I'm listening to. Isn't this cool? I have this little fuzzy mic. Feels so like influencer. <laughs> um, these kind of remind me, if anyone's ever seen like um, My Neighbor Totoro, <laughs> they have those little dust mite looking things. That's what's basically on my chest. <sighs> nice job. All right, y'all. One more round of that burn down. Switch up that eagle crunch. Three, two, one, let's go. See, when you know what you have to do, and they're really simple, that's the core design of any burn down for me. What's simple, needs very little thinking, but gets the workout done so I can listen to my body. That's what I'm doing. Nice exhale as you lift up. Maybe get that air behind that low booty. Feel that tremble because you have been working out for upwards of 50 minutes by now. Ballet crunches. You ready? I sure am. We're going to level it up right here. Let's go. So I told you, if you want to level it up, you lift up that knee instead of having it planted on the mat. You really want to level it up and you have it in you, you bring that knee ooh, to hover from the mat. So basically, you're in a perpetual low boat. That is absolutely not my strength level today, but maybe if I watch this in 2030, I will be there. Uh, okay. Whew. You ready? Other side. Seven minutes. Seven seconds. Two, one. Let's go. Remember, I am not actually moving my elbow. You are not moving your elbow. Your elbow is nice and wide in alignment with your chest. Your shoulder is the one doing the crunching, doing the twisting. You have an invisible leg press as you press that leg back down to the mat and hover. You're reaching that elbow that is wide and not moving, like I said, to that knee. It's okay if they never touch. And we're down. We got one more round of side leg lifts. I believe in you. Let's do this. Come on. Knowing that this is the last round of double legs gives me an extra wind of excitement that I was not feeling I had at the top of this burn down. Bump up that song. Recognize where you might be holding tension. If you're holding tension in your neck or your ears, be mindful of that. Release it, let it go. One more side, one more side. And then our three minute plank hold. Let's go, y'all. How are you feeling? Hi, YouTube. Hi, friends. Um, if you've been following me all along since you've been here at the Climbing Jam, I appreciate you. If you have been joining since Facebook, I appreciate you. If you're new, I appreciate you. I'm so proud of you for making it this far into class. We are almost done. I know that an hour of a workout virtually is a big commitment. So congratulations to you. We have wrapped up that segment and I can't play it very loudly because um, copyright issues here, but 
we are about to do, okay, I have to let go of this bandana and figure out how I'm gonna do my hair. We are about to do our three minute plank hold. That is how we end every class. We start every class with a nice three minute hold plank. We end class with a nice three minute plank and just some stretching. But what I always tell my people in class is find your song that is over three minutes have it ready to go and let it carry you through the rest of this. One minute elbow plank, one minute hip, hip, forehead, chin, one minute full plank. I'm not really gonna talk much because I don't have it in me, but after that, we are done. Get your burn three minute plank down song ready to go. I have mine queued up. You might hear a little bit of it um, in the background, but I can't play it too loudly. You ready? Elbow plank, just make sure you're staying, puffing up that space between the shoulder blades, belly button to the spine. No twerking, no curving, no sinking into the shoulders. That's it. You ready? All right, y'all, I'm proud of you, let's go. Clock has started. Elbow plank. Now, if you ever need to take a break in your elbow plank, you come down and you make it a knee plank, okay? But, do not get into your child's pose and take that pause unless you really, really, really absolutely have to. If not, I want you to celebrate how this three minute plank feels in your body, how it's going to feel after a week of this class, two weeks of this doing this class, maybe a week of this class might be a lot, doing it after a month, in a month's time, where are you with this three minute plank hold? Now know that progress is not linear. So, we may have setbacks, maybe we need to reframe that word, but here we are today and I am proud of you. Three, two, one, hip, hip, forehead, chin. That's it, y'all. Switch the sides of those hip dips. Maybe switch the forehead and chin to a chin to a forehead. <sighs> Breathe. Now, release that tension <sighs> out of your neck. Do not sink into those shoulders. That gaze is maybe around <sighs> where your thumbs are or like in line with your wrists. It does, it's up to your eye placement. But what you have is a nice neutral neck. We got five seconds here. Do one more round, will you? All right, y'all. Here we go. Get ready. One minute. Full plank. I guarantee you, unless you've been like plank mastering, you might be trembling. I certainly am. That is okay. I want you pressing index finger and thumb into that mat. Send that energy to the floor and with all your might press up. Fill that space between the shoulder blades from the crown of your head to the nape of your neck. Fill that space between the shoulder blades. Weave together those low ribs. Belly button to the spine. <sighs> Engage those inner thighs. <sighs> Clench that booty. Backs of those knees to the sky. Rolls of your feet to the mat. Don't drop, don't sink. You've got this five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come up. Whoo, shake that head, no. Yes, maybe. Back to center. Chaturanga and lift up into that poor dog. Look to the right, look to the left. Right and left, back to center and downward dog. Bring those feet together, lift up that right foot, open up the foot, the knee, the hip, shoulders. Twist, center, down, lift up that other foot, open up the foot, the knee, the hips, shoulders, twist. Do not look at my dirty feet. Down, pedal those feet. 
no matter how dirty they are, it's going to feel great if you can slide those palms of your hands underneath those footbeds, sink, press toes into wrists, get out of those shoulders, stretch out that neck, let those hands go, grab for opposite elbows, give yourself a nice little hug dance here, gently place those palms of your hands to the nape of that neck and release. Let go of those hands, slight bend the knees, roll up one vertebra at a time, and come up. Windmill those arms forward. Windmill those arms backwards. Lift up your right arm, left behind you. Look behind that left shoulder. And with that exhale, deepen that switch. Windmill it around, left, up, right behind you. Look behind that right shoulder. And with that exhale, stretch. With your right hand to your left. Self five, you did it. Self five. You did it. I'm proud of you. Thanks for joining. One minute core hour with Steph. If you have needs, requests, whatever, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you. I'm proud of you. And I guess I will see you next time.